joined here at Chippenham Town FC after tonight's Vanarama National League South game against Hemel Hempstead. Mike, it's not the result we wanted, it's not the performance we wanted, it was really a poor night at the office. Yeah, I think so, especially uh, first half, I thought um, we were not anywhere near where we needed to be and, um, you know, to be fair to them, I thought they played quite well, he's made a couple of changes. Um, over the last sort of week or two, but uh, nothing that we weren't really expecting to happen. So a um, little bit better second half with the chance. I thought their goalkeeper did well in the last 20 minutes. There was three or four opportunities that looked like they were definitely in, and he's pulled out a hand or a foot, and um, you know, uh, is, is kept that sort of clean sheet for the second half. But uh, yeah, very disappointing. Uh, home debut tonight for Kieran Aguiar. Obviously, first chance to get in front of the home supporters. We've been speaking, obviously, over the last couple of weeks, where we've been going away about how he will get on the ball and make things happen, look and sort of to look to galvanise people around him. It looked almost as if that sort of plan was coming to fruition with his goal earlier on. Obviously, we're trying to look for the positives there, and you know, a first goal off the mark for Kieran tonight. Yeah, um, it's Ricky, but Kieran. Kieran yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, Ricky no, Aguilar. But Ricky, he, you know, he's he's done well when he's come in. Um, he's got the little goal today, but we still didn't play enough to him, and uh, that was what was frustrating first half because you know that's what we've worked on, um, and you need players like that getting on the ball. We've obviously had to make the little change with um, Adam Mann that didn't help as well, um, and even before the game with Will Richards, um, he's got uh, track and traced. So um, that was a late omission from our side of things, but we, we've still got enough in the, in the squad to cope with that. So, um, but it's just on that on that first half performance, not good enough. But the second half a little bit better. Yeah, of course. In the you know, second half, going down the slope, you know, expecting to see a little bit more, obviously, out of the boys in terms of chances created, and we did see that. You know, the keeper, uh, to his credit, has made a couple of very good saves. Obviously, firstly from Jackson, secondly from Stern. We've had chances in the game. It certainly looked as well as if there were a couple of. I don't know. We don't really like to talk about it contestable decisions from the referee tonight that seem to have gone in the favour of the away side a, def a definite push and Dan Griffiths there as we were coming down the stretch but probably one of the big turning points was you know a clearance from their goalkeeper that's ended up at the foot of Dan Griffiths big shouts for handball as it was flying towards the back of the net unguarded we didn't get the decision tonight and to be fair we didn't seem to get much no no um, we don't seem to get much with this referee but like we said we don't uh don't tend to moan and groan at them too much because we've got to have a little look at ourselves first and if we're not quite at it we've got to be big enough and brave enough to say that we weren't we weren't there tonight but in saying that um, the three or four chances on a normal day one of those goes in um, and then with 10 minutes to go you know you've got a, a chance to win the game but we're just uh, at home we're just not getting that little bit of luck um, which you need obviously. Yeah, you know, we've been having a little bit of a conversation here afterwards, you know, as we all sort of clamour as you do. We were quite blessed tonight to, you know, be introduced to quite a few of Joe's academy lads that have stuck behind and, you know, sort of uh, given their uh, their own sort of young, brash analysis on the game. Um, I suppose the question that's going to be pertinent to a lot of people, Mike, is when, if at all, are those guys going to start getting that look? If things aren't maybe working so well, are we going to start seeing some of what the academy are producing? Yeah, definitely. We, we, um, we've had them up training uh, over the last sort of three or four months we use quite a lot in pre-season as uh, one or two that have gone off on loan um, Ola looks great coming into um, we're hoping to have him uh, tonight to be honest but uh, the registration didn't go through on time so um, yeah there's a couple of the young lads that I've seen in the 23s that look half decent to be fair to them and um, they need an opportunity to get there um, you know with the first team which I'm sure they'll grab Good stuff. And I think it was Ola that we saw up in the bar earlier on. Uh, sorry, not the bar anymore. Is it the VIP lounge? Um, signing paperwork, signing registration forms. Is that now a done deal, Mike? Is he over the line and going to be you know, at your disposal now for the coming next, you know, next certainly in the next few games? Yeah, he should be. He should be. Um, there's uh, obviously Raz as well. He's, he's coming to it. We've got Baldwin, who's, who's not bad as well. So, like we said, we've been having a little look at them in training. They've done really well. They've only just come to the club over the last sort of month anyway. Um, but uh, you know they look good prospects and um, we'll be putting them in definitely because uh, we need to make a little change and uh, I think it's the right time to do that I think. Good stuff and obviously with the absentees this evening obviously we're now getting back towards sort of the, uh, that quote unquote full squad that we've you know wanted to pick from now for a very long time. Uh, we've had updates um, obviously from certain players just from general chit chat but Alex Bray he seems to be on the home straight now looking at you know returning he's going to be back running. Yeah. You know Will Richards is only going to be a track and trace ping possibly you know seven to ten days max if that's the case. So you know sooner or later we're going to start having that full squad at our disposal once again. 
Hopefully, yeah. I mean, we've got... Uh, I think Alex is going to probably be about two weeks, I think. Um, and Harry Warwick's going to be similar to that. So, um, and again, with Will Richards, I just hope it's uh, a little ping and that um, because of his jab, he's been double jabbed, but he was just slightly out of the date time that uh, made it so he wasn't quite right for him. But, um, yeah, if we could get those three back in, then um, I think we're, we're half decent again. Certainly, and obviously moving now uh, to the second of home games in such a short succession. Uh, we move now to Saturday in Braintree. They're going to turn up here. It's another game at home, um, which is another chance, of course, to put things right. Um, I'll give us a little preview ahead of that one, Mike. I mean, what kind of, you know, what's the thought process going to be over this next sort of three, three or four days before we're back in on Saturday? I think for us, we've, we've got to change a couple of personnel around. Uh, we'll change the system as well that, um, you know, we, we operated on Saturday, worked quite well Saturday, but not tonight. And um, if we can just uh, rotate round through different positions when we're playing um, without getting interrupted with injuries or whatever it's going to be, we'll be all right. But it's just coping with that at the moment. And uh, at home, it's definitely a little bit of a, it's, it's not a happy place for us at the moment. So we, we've just got to get, get on with it and hopefully put it right on Saturday. Good stuff. And obviously, we spoke a little bit about the academy and what they can start mainstreaming in. Uh, we've you know, had a few chats in sort of you know, our own little private circles about players and people and targets we may be chasing. You know, obviously, we like to ask the question, and I'm sure you like talking about it. You know, I'm sure you've always got your eye on you know, the next potential person to come into the squad, if at all. When you, you know, I know you were tracking a few guys you know, by Saturday that unfortunately didn't come off. Is that still something on the horizon for you? Or are you, you know, yeah, fairly, fairly resigned to the fact that it just doesn't seem to be happening on the transfer front either? No, there's, there's, those two are definitely a no because they've they've gone elsewhere anyway but we've we've got um, a couple again it's another centre forward and an, another midfield player that we're looking at um, over the next couple of days again this time of year um, especially like they've had a couple of managerial changes they, they're going out and getting um, you know players in at late notice with some decent money to do that I mean if if need be that's what we will do but obviously we need to sort of give a chance to these youth team players as well coming through and um, I just think that some of the money that's been quoted for us is, is just too much for us at the moment. Um, but in saying that, we're going to have a, a conversation with um, a centre forward tomorrow as well, just see if we can get him. Good stuff. Well, Mike, commiserations from all of us here for tonight's result. Uh, it's obviously not what we like to stand here and talk about defeats, but good luck for Saturday. Uh, of course, we'll all be here right behind you again at the Thornbury Surfacing Stadium where we entertain Braintree. Hopefully we can put it right and get some get some points on the board. Yeah. Cheers, Simon. Perfect. Cheers, Thanks, Mike. Man.